Hey guys, it's your girl Phoenix Fire. I'm, I'm here with the one and only Rosenberg Raw. What's up, Rosenberg? What's going on? What's going on? Shout out to Phoenix. What's up, you Greg? Shout out to you, man. How you feeling, man? How you feeling after your battle against T-Rex? Uh, you know, I've had some time to kind of soak in and, you know, wind down a little bit. You know, I'm kind of dissecting a little bit. Yeah. More. When I first was doing a lot of my interviews, was fresh off stage, so emotions was like pretty high. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I feel good. I feel good. I'm okay, you know. Are you, are you good, good now? now? <laughs> I know I know a lot of people, you've talked about it a lot. You probably talked it to death. You're probably tired of people yeah, asking about you about it. Yeah, a, a whole lot. Exactly. But, but you know, it is what it is. I understand it comes with territory. So I, I'm good. I mean, what happened, happened. I'm sure y'all all got to see what happened. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, it really is what it is. We can't control what our opponent does. Yeah. Um, what I, what I do want to say is, as much as I have been made out to be the victim in this situation, mm -hmm. um, which I understand, uh, I do got to take some ownership for my behavior in the battle. There was a few incidents where I could have just let him be him and kept performing and not really fed into it. And I let my emotions get the best of me to where I, I, I started to contribute to what was going on. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. So that's something that, you know, if I got to wind down, um, I, I kind of felt that way. Like, you know what, I got to go back, see the footage, and I said, you know what, there were some things uh, Rosenberg could have did better, too. Mm, okay, well, it's, it's good that you acknowledge that as well. That's quite good. Um, I've got two questions for you about this whole situation, and then we're going to move on from it, all right? Okay. Uh, the first question is, why do you feel like T-Rex acted like that if you two were caught oh. earlier? You said, why did T-Rex act, act like that if we talked prior to the battle? Yeah, like if y'all were cool. You said y'all were cool, uh, right? So, we so what, you feel like he was losing? We cool. or what? We were cool from our encounters. I only met Rex once at Champion when we did the face-off. That was the first time I've ever met Rex. Okay. I just, mm. I just never met. Um, but when we when we met each other, it was like we knew each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we vibe, it was cool. Everything was good. Um, Rex is crafty like that. Rex is, Rex, some of Rex's powers, sometimes, you know, if you, if you will, special powers or abilities, they're not all for good. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes we have, we have capabilities that are all positive. He's got some, some powers with his battle rap. Uh, persona that are all, all, all good and one thing he can do is fuck a battle up that he's not prepared for he'll <laughs> get his money he'll get his money is that his special power uh, yeah <laughs> still still get his money still leave oh, with his no. life yeah and live the and live the and live the skill another day I hear I hear alright the next question about this situation is if you could change anything about the battle what would you change uh, the way I approached it, um, flexing the time limits, even going in there talking to him about the time limits, I should have just kept it to myself, um, and you know, and let him, let him act the way he was acting and be more of a professional on stage. It's the only thing I would change. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to say I liked your freestyle. That was funny. Um, yeah, yeah. I, um, like I said, I didn't battle. Craig Lamar two months ago was my first battle back in two years, so mm -hmm. I've been uh I've been, I've been working and, and you know freestyling and rebuttals wasn't something that was a part of my game earlier in my career. Yeah, that's that a part of now. I'm so, feeling it. I'm feeling it. You said to him. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm feeling it. It's fun. Man. It's a new. It's a new wrinkle in my game. It's fun. I, I was eager to try it out and it worked. Yeah, so I definitely will be trying it out. I again. definitely think it's working for you. No doubt, man. So, so what, what yeah, age? Because everybody knows what they're getting from Rosenberg. You watch a Rosenberg battle, you know, aggressive bars, a presence, delivery. But, like, it's like, now, yeah, damn, Rosenberg can freestyle on the spot. That's pretty dangerous. <laughs> and that's kind of the feel I wanted to give up. Mm, definitely. No, I was feeling it. It's all good. All right, but moving on from that situation, though, um, let's keep it moving. So what age did you start rapping? And why did you get into battle rap? I started rapping. When I was about 11, I started, I guess when I realized I know how to freestyle. 
Mm. So I didn't know how to write at first. At first, I didn't know how to write. I just, you know, a beat would come on, and I know I was really into hip hop. And um, the rappers that I did enjoy at that young age, I listened to them a lot, and I was fascinated. Um, but when I knew I fell in love with battle rapping, um, was around the same age. I was um, just watching MTV like any normal kid who likes music. Yeah. And uh, they had a, a battle league called the Fight Club. Mm-hmm. And it, was, it used to come on late at night. And I remember I called it one time. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't take my eyes off it. I was mesmerized. I mean, yeah. I thought it was, you know, I thought it was special to do being able to go up there, even females, two MCs. Yeah. Being able to go up on stage and actually compete. Like, this ain't a song. This isn't a, this is a battle. battle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Only one winner can lead from here. Yeah. And I always like one-on-one sports. I'm a big boxer fan. Mm. The one-on-one sports, you know, I respect those type of athletes more than the athletes with teammates. Um, because, you know, you can have all the people in your corner you want, but at the end of the day, you got to get on that stage. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and deliver it. Can't nobody help you while you're on the stage. And that's what I fell in love with with battle. I was around like 11 years old. Okay, cool. So... What's the most challenging thing about being a battle rapper? Most challenging thing about being a battle rapper is dealing with the diva shit that the battle rappers bring to the culture. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That leads to my next question. If you could change anything in battle rap, what would you change? If I could change anything in battle rap, what would I change? Um... I would, uh, I would change the pay for everybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I, 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 I believe we all should be getting paid a lot more. All of us, even the dudes who get a lot of money, they should be getting more. Mm. So, um, there's, you know, there's enough fans in the world to battle rap to where if you're a star battle rapper, mid-tier, top-tier, you know, because there's mid-tier NBA players, mid-tier boxers who, they're not superstars, but they're professionals, and when they're done with their career, they don't have to worry about where they're going to feed it, where, where their next meal is going to come from, or where their next paycheck is going to come mm. from. And I believe that this sport um, is, you know, that type of sport, and I believe we should be paid accordingly. You know, we've done battle rapping because think about it. I've been battle rapping since I was 16, 17, over 10 years. Mm. A lot of time I put into the sport. It's been a big part of my life. Uh, it, it took a lot of my mental, it's put a lot of mental strain on me just in general and every battle rapper goes through that. Yeah. Uh, you're constantly thinking, you're constantly having to reinvent yourself, come up with new stuff. It's hard. It's just it's tough. So, yeah, exactly. I think we're under, I think we're overworked in other things. That's what I would change. Okay, that's dope. And put it, and then I would put in a fair judging system. I couldn't tell you what it, what it would be, but I would put a fair judging system in. Okay. Be able to actually weed Okay, I understand what you mean, but to me personally, I don't pers- necessarily like the idea of judge judged battles. I don't feel like I well, don't want judges like, don't. to judge a battle. I feel like I feel like the um, the fans really are the voice. Do you know what I mean? Even though I know some people are more popular than other rappers, and maybe people tend to think, well, that's just the problem. They, that's why you yeah, I understand. But I always base thing. it on bars. I don't care how popular you are. If you didn't say anything and, hot, I'm not feeling it. And, Right, but you know what? That's just you. Yeah, exactly. Aye, aye. Who, there's not a lot of people who think like that. Mm-hmm. Everybody doesn't have your mind point. Yeah. Uh, I'm against judging too because there's really not a logical way that everybody can agree on it. Somebody's always going to have an issue with it. But in a perfect world, that's why I said it. You said if I could, um, I would implement a perfect judging system. But yeah. it could not be the fans because... I beat you clearly, but you're the bigger rapper. Your fans outweigh my fans. I lose the battle. Mm. It's not fair. It's not, not fair. fair. No, that isn't but fair. Exactly. Fair. Mm-hmm. The, the fans cannot do it. Mm-hmm. I hear you. All right. The fans don't get to decide who wins by the match. We get to watch. We get to have our. But but what would your judging judges. system be? Though, how would it work? Okay, it would just be like a, based on their body of work for the whole year. As what far as who you would pick for judges? No, um, as far as your your judging system, like how would 
we get the end saying. result. I, I really don't have that answer. Okay, that's okay. I mean, it's just a theoretical. It, 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 I mean, yeah. it's just to come off the top of my head. It, yeah. it, yeah. I had to. Um, I would like to have three to five judges with credentials. Um, whether they have a hip hop resume or was a former battle rapper, mm. um, maybe a highly respected analyst like Jay Black or yeah, you know, one of those types. Definitely, I think you would have to have some type of credentials. That's all. Mm. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, I'm gonna give you. Th- I'm gonna give you um, three battles, all right? And I'm, I want you to tell yeah. me how you call these battles. So the first one yeah. is um, Hitman versus Verb. Hitman versus Verb. Verb one. Okay. T one. Verb one. You just won. Okay, that was a classic. Verb, to be honest, verb. that was a classic. I can't call classic. it. I think so. Hitman classic. versus Verb. Mm-hmm. I watched the battle one time. Oh yeah, I Verb ended very well, but it's debatable, but <laughs> Lux... how about this? Go on, go on. What round do you remember from? When you think about that battle, what round do you remember? I remember the, the third round. You remember Verb's third yeah, round? Yeah, right? it's true, I do. Verb yeah, was excellent in that battle. I can't even say right nothing up. bad about you Verb in that battle. There I really such, can't. There is such things as knockouts in battle way. Say that again? There are such things. There are such things. As knockouts in battle rap. You can win the first two rounds and get knocked out in the third. Okay, I, I, I agree with that, actually. I do Doesn't agree. Happen often. You can beat somebody on one round. You can. You can. If the, the round is powerful enough, you can do it. You ever, you, ever, you ever heard of See What They Do For Views? Yeah. Rosenberg, Wall versus Big K. That mm-hmm. was a prime example that was, of that was, that was That was dope. That was fire. I hear you. All right, how you call Lux versus Hollow? Lux versus Hollow? Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'll flip-flop on that battle. Okay. I'll flip-flop. I mean, on Monday, I might say Lux. Tuesday, <laughs> I might say Hollow. I hear you. Mm-hmm. I got Lux, but it's, it's a dope battle. It's a battle. I'm not mad at anybody who puts Lux. Rum Nitty versus Twerk. <laughs> um, you know it's not really that's a preference uh, that was a dope it's, battle it's, I love that battle but alright yeah yeah, mm. yeah they're, they're both they're both they're both uh, special mm-hmm. special battle rappers definitely um, super superstars so uh, that's another battle that's close I mean I, I'd lean towards Twerk because the way he raps and battles even though his style is Unorthodox. Very. Um, uh, the way he battles, he battles the right way. Nitty is a great battler too. Um, but you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a victim of where I'm from. Our battle rap culture in Pennsylvania is always aggression over yeah. content. Yeah. Um, okay. Even though I know the game really that we're in is content. Oh yes, yeah, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. It's more aggression over bars. Okay, okay. Got it. That would kind of like hence my aggressive style. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um... But I'm also not from Philadelphia. That's also why mm. I'm, you know, I have, I have I have a different type of bar style. Okay. You know, America's really big, so when you're, like, saying all these, I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> there's so many different areas in America, and y'all got different styles. Yeah, and different. I'm just, like, If you, if you battle in front of a Philadelphia crowd... You battle in front of a Philadelphia crowd, it'd be the opposite if you battle in front of a California crowd. Okay. Are they more, uh, like, harsher crowd? It's not about more harsh or not, or being harsh or not. It's different. It's just a different the vibe? States are, we're so big, it's so, the states are so huge that um, the coast and the state styles are different. Like, okay. if you go in Atlanta, they would say somebody from Philly talks with an accent. They're from the south or from the east. Um, so it's just really different, you know, different areas, different cultures, and different uh, different upbringings. And, and every city, every city in America has its own identity. It has its own personality. Mm. You know, that's the difference. Um, mm-hmm. Every city, no city is really alike the other cities. There's some similar, obviously, but, because every state has multiple cities, but the major cities yeah. that you guys hear about, like the California dudes, 
Yeah. Uh, how about this? Like East Coast, people on the East Coast is more ignorant than the people down South. Okay. Southern oh, okay. Like they are. Oh my God. Nice America's too big and it's so confusing. People always try to explain yeah, East yeah. Coast, West Coast thing, and I always, I'm like, okay. I know America <laughs> as much as you do. I mean, there's, there's many places I haven't been to also. So I couldn't tell you how the people are. It's all good though. I've been to America before. I've been to I've been to New York and I've been to Chicago, and I I loved it. It was dope. So, but that's all. I was only there for a few weeks, but yeah, my experience in America was fire. I'm about to come battle in the United Kingdom. Mm, yeah, you got to come to the UK, man. Yeah, I'm about <laughs> to come out there and battle. Come and get smoked. <laughs> 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 I'm just I don't playing think there's a you. battler I'm just in playing. the UK. That, <laughs> that would be dope, though. Uh-huh. There's not a battler in the UK. That, that can smoke you. Nah, I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even saying nothing. Yes, there is, definitely, 100%. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing. Really just saying, just saying. Who's the top battler in the game? Shadi Hara. Shadi Hara, obviously, right? We know about mm-hmm. him over here. Tony so D's nice, like, Gemini dialect. I, 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 There's a lot of them. I fucking obliterate. I fucking obliterate Shadi Hara. Oh my gosh, Rosenberg! In, wow, in, how dare in, you? In, in, in his country. Blasphemy! <laughs> All right, we gonna have to talk about just this like later. You know. <laughs> just like you know. And I'll say this. I'll, I'll, I'll end that with this. I do have a passport. Okay. That, set it up. I do have a passport. Set it up, Smack. I do have a passport. <laughs> that would be interesting, though, still. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. You know DNA and Verb about to battle. Who do you think... Who's going to win to you? How are you calling that battle? Which, which battle are you talking about? Uh, well, it hasn't happened yet. DNA versus Verb. DNA versus Verb? Mm-hmm. The battle. Um, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. They're uh, they're evenly matched. They both have their own styles. Mm. If you're making me pick, I I lean towards Verb. Okay. But then again, then again, DNA has a freestyle ability that Verb doesn't have. Yeah, definitely. It's so, interesting. We'll it's a good battle. That's, 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 yeah, that's, it's going to be. I'm, I'm looking forward to that battle, definitely. Yeah, it's um, a bigger battle. If you could battle a female, who would you want to battle? If I battle a female, who would I want to battle? Yeah, battle uh, rapper. QB. Okay. Um, E-Heart. Fire. Uh, Shana. Fire. See they all fire, there. man. I got them 2-1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. You know I got to have my girls back, so, right? <laughs> I bet you um, do. I think you guys got a dope female artist. I think she's from the UK. She's pretty dope. I think her name's like Lady Leisha. Yeah, I'm Lady like Leisha. She's fire. Dope, yeah, dope. She's dope. fire. Yeah, she's really nice as well. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, uh, let's move on to something. Oh, yeah, you and Glue, right, if you and Glue Easy was to team up for a, two, a two on two, yeah, what would be your team name? What would you be called? If I, well, I don't, I don't, that's depending on who my partner is. I said you and Glue Easy, sorry, because, um, the Me line and Glue Easy. <laughs> <laughs> what would our two on two name be? Yeah. Uh, Glusenberg. Glusenberg. That's a good one, actually. Glusenberg. Maybe something like that. Uh, let me see if I call it another one. Glusenberg. Glusenberg. Uh, Rose and glue. Rose and glue. I was trying uh, to come up with some. All the ones I came up with sounded so whack. I was like, I, I ain't even yeah, going to say it. Yeah, I don't know. I like Glusenberg, Glusenberg, actually. I, uh, I wouldn't take Glue Easy as a partner. Okay. Now, I only just said that because y'all look kind of like... He said yeah, that y'all look alike. But if like, I had it, but yeah. well, just because you asked, I'd take Big K. Okay. Glue all day. Yeah, Big K's fire. I love Big yeah, K. I take Big dope. K all day. Okay. Mm. All right then. So if you could, like, if you could meet anyone, is, is, is 360 isn't 360 in Cursor from the UK? Who? 360. Yeah. No. Nah, um. He's Pardon from. He's from, Pardon Pardon from, he's from Melbourne. Yeah. I was going to say, hold on, why haven't I heard from him? I think he died, you know, but I'm not sure. (laughs) But, um, it's all good, um, oh yeah, so I was going to say to you, right, 
if you could meet anybody, any famous person, dead or alive, um, who would you want to meet and why? I could meet any famous person, dead or alive, who would I want to meet and why? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll do this. If it's a dead person, I'll do a dead person and a live person. Okay. Um, probably want to meet Tupac. Yeah. I'd love to meet Tupac. Wow. Um, if I had to pick somebody who passed away. And uh, why? Because Pac just seemed like he was ahead of his time. Um, he was doing a lot of the music. He was almost predicting the future, you know? Yeah. And, um, you know, I just would want to be in a room and be able to soak some of that knowledge up mm. as, as, as the younger guy, you know what I mean? Trying yeah. to be able to maybe miss some mistakes he might have ran into or something like that. And also, he's just one of the greatest. So I go with Pop. And if I had to meet somebody alive, famous person, it doesn't have to be a rapper or is it a rapper? No, it doesn't. It can be anybody. It doesn't have to be a rapper. Nah. Um, well, just because I'd probably, well, not far as celebs. I mean, it probably would be Eminem also. I'd, I'd rather meet Slim. Oh, yeah. Um,. Slim Shady's fire. Yeah, um, just to, you know, I, I mean, his story is pretty public, pretty much public knowledge, but mm -hmm. hearing it from the horse's mouth is different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hearing it from the horse's mouth is different, so. Definitely. I got you. Those are probably two, yeah, two people I'd want to meet. Alright. If, if you could, um, if you could write a new law that everybody had to obey, what law would you create? Say that one more time. If you could write one new law that everybody had to obey, what would you? What would be the law? One new law that everybody would have to obey. Yeah. That's a great question. Thank you. <laughs> you are. You're pretty good at this. All right. So. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I only just started out. To be honest with you, I just kind of go yeah, off the top. Good. I don't edit it's anything. A fun interview. It's a fun interview. I'm not. You know what you're doing. You're asking me a bunch of questions that. I don't get asked. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I appreciate you it. Get asked I the appreciate same it. fucking questions every day. <laughs> I so, try to keep it interesting, exactly, because I'm sure y'all both yeah, answer the no, same no, old questions. Good. Cool. I didn't expect this. I'm having fun. So it's all good. One law that everybody would have to follow. Shit. <sighs> <laughs> it's a tough one. You might have stumped me there. Okay. Do you want to come back to that? Because everybody one? would have to follow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd have to follow it. It's one law. So you, you maybe you... Um, yeah, it's one law. Everyone has to follow it. It's a big... It's okay, a big... Um, I would go responsibility. no racial profiling arrest. Okay, say that again. No racial That's what I would, profiling no arrest. No racial profiling arrest. Okay. You cannot arrest somebody or harass somebody because of the color of their skin. That's probably what I would go with. And everybody's got to abide by, by, or abide by it. So does that mean... That even goes... That, that goes for other countries, maybe religions, and the Middle East, people die down there because they believe in a, a, a certain religion, or the, the kid that's walking down the street who really is not bothering anybody but because he's black, he looks like a hoodlum. You know what I mean? That yeah. type of shit. You yeah. know that shit. Okay, you know, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, wouldn't be so filled. Yeah, I hear you. That's a good one. All right. Um, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat all day. <laughs> I got you. Street Fighter, man. Stop playing. Stop playing, bro. <laughs> but okay. No, no, Mortal Kombat over Street Fighter. Okay. For sure. No, it's a dope. They both fire For anyway. Sure. Both classics. So They're both so, great. They're both exactly. Great. Um, would you rather have the ability to fly or be invisible, and why? Which one? Why did you choose whichever one you choose? <laughs> would I rather want to fly or be invisible? That was a good question. Um, I'd have to go with fly. Okay. I have to, I have Why? To fly. Uh, invisible is great, um, but being invisible, it, it gives you gives you 
freedom to be manipulative. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, uh, like I remember I said earlier in the fucking interview, all powers ain't good powers. Mm. So, you know, like for example, there might be some shit you do wrong, and then somebody, you know, when they're not around you, you know, might be expressing how they feel, and you can literally put yourself in the room yeah. and hear it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's not fair. It's not fair. I, I would go fly. I would go fly. Uh, okay. I wouldn't need a car. No gas. Uh, save some money, right? Um, <laughs> okay. No, that's a, travel, that's a that's a good travel reason. Anywhere. Yeah, flying all day. It's no brainer. Okay. That's interesting. I'll definitely choose invisible. Forget flying, man. I don't even like heights before I crash into a tree or something. I like the something. way I look too much to want to be invisible. I want people to see. <laughs> okay. I got you. I got you. Um, <laughs> that's funny. If you could, like, meet God tomorrow, Rosenberg, what would you ask him? If I could meet God tomorrow, what would I ask him? Mm-hmm. I would ask him. Only one question? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just one question. Otherwise, you're going to be there all day. <laughs> just one question. Yeah, I'm about to say, if you more than one question, he'd be, all there. He'd be, all, he'd be there all day with God. Um, exactly. <laughs> I would ask him what are the actual requirements to get in heaven? Okay. Because you know, we trust in the, the old stories and the, the books we read and you know most they're all man made and you know faith is yeah faith is um Faith is, is, a, is a very powerful thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, different religions believe that if you don't preach this way or you don't, you know, live by this religion, that you're not, you're not you know, worshiping God the right way. Mm-hmm. I would just try to understand what's the right way to live okay. on earth so I can spread the word. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a good question. That's thoughtful. Oh, that's nice. All right. Just for, I mean, mainly for my family. Listen, y'all do this, you're going to hell. You better not do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you better not do it. I talk to him. It's a good question, though. Do you know what I mean? Then at least when he tells you, then you know question. exactly Why what to do. I mean, if he's sitting here telling you, listen, you live like this, you'll be in the heaven gate. Exactly. Who wouldn't want to know that information? Because don't nobody really know the answer to that. Yeah, exactly. Because how about this? I got a question for you. All right. So, a sweet old lady. She goes to church every Sunday. Bible study every Wednesday. Yeah. Um, she's Christian. Yeah. And then there's the lady who's been Muslim all her life. She prays multiple times a day. Um, she follows the religion. They're both good people, but they both believe in two different gods. Hmm. Do they both go to hell? Or do one of them go to hell? And one of them go to heaven because they believe in one thing? I think... I like the... Oh, oh, sorry. Was I supposed to answer that? I'd I was like going to answer it. Okay, let tell me what you think, I'd, and I'll tell you what I think. I'd like to believe that if you're a good person, and you have a good heart, and you, you try to try to live with as much love over hate, um, that there's a, if there's a better place, you get in because you know there's no there's no point system or no system that tells you what's right and what's wrong. Just you know what's old, what's mm. right, and what's wrong. So. Facts. You know, yeah. that, that's something that kind of, you know, makes me think about religion. What about the two good people who believe in two different things? Which one of them are going to hell? Yeah, no, I agree right with thing? you. How do they know? I agree with you. I feel like God will judge it on your heart. Do you see what I mean? Because a lot of that, people are deceived see, anyway. That's what I'm at. You get judged on your heart. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you'll be judged on your heart and, and your, whatever you've done in, in your um, earthly time on earth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So... You got, yeah. more, you got more control over your decisions than, than people actually, you know, you know what I mean, so. Yeah, yeah. facts, facts. Um, all right, so my final question to you, you know, it's been so lovely talking to you, you know, Rosenberg, it's been dope, for real, for real. It's just been like, I'm just having a conversation. But um, I hope you've been enjoying my questions. I did, I did, I did. I enjoyed the interview a lot. Dope, that's dope. My final question yeah, appreciate for you. you having me. My final question for you is who's on your Mount Rushmore? Um hmm. Mook. Mm-hmm. Lux. Yep. Okay. Uh, that fourth one's tough because 
yeah. no matter who you give it to, you, you're taking a yeah, spot exactly. from somebody else. That fourth it. one is always the hardest, I reckon. It um, Oak Left Arts. That's tough. Um, <laughs> Who is it? Are you are you are you thinking of two different people? You don't know who to give it to. Or you oh, just I mean multiple people. I mean you okay. got Hollow Luck. I mean you got Hollow. You got Clips. Mm. Um, Surf. Mm. Um, you know him and Hollow. They hurt. I mean, uh, it's been ten guys who just had that spot. I'm gonna go with Verb. Okay. With a Verb. Okay. I'm squeeze Verb in at four. All right. Cool. So that's Mook. Or who do you say? Mook. Uh, Mook, Arts, Lux, Arsenal, Verb. Lux and Verb. All right. Got it, got it. That's dope, that's dope. So what's next for you? Arts um, gets in, Arts gets in over hollow. Verb gets in <laughs> over hollow. Oh, okay. Interesting, Mount Rushmore. Everyone's Mount Rushmore is different, so I always ask that question because I just like to know, do you know what I mean? See what people like and their reasons are put in. Oh, uh, not even necessarily. I'm actually don't like. I'm not a super big fan of arts, uh, but you gotta respect body of work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I get so it. So exactly. everybody that everybody that on my Mount Rushmore might not be in my top five personally. Yeah, like, I understand. Yeah, so. yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, so what's next for you, um, Rosenberg Law? Uh, mm-hmm. got a few things. Um, right now we got the merch, um, Frozenberg dot com for all my merchandise. Okay. Um, got to see what they do for views, sweatsuits. Um, take this walk with me. The ready and willing shirts. Um, whole bunch of whole bunch of content. So you know, That's you support dope. and uh, you know, you're a fan. You've been rocking me for a while. You can definitely go there and uh, support what we've been doing. We appreciate it. We keep putting on these great performances. Um, right now, I don't, I don't have a, a specific name locked in. I'm kind of just still coming back from Rex and, yeah. you know, taking it easy. Just yeah, it makes sense. a whole bunch of media stuff this week. So, um, I think we might find something small to do in December, but waiting, waiting, waiting for 2020 to try to get a big matchup. But I will say that I got three to four names that mm. are really, that are really good. Oh, that's nice. So I look for we'll look forward to that. Um, do you want to shout out your social media and everything where we can find you, follow yeah, you? Yeah, Rosenberg.com. That's my website. Rosenberg Raw Six One Zero is on Instagram and Twitter. That's all my social media. All right, dope. So y'all heard that? Make sure you follow, subscribe, check out the merchandise, purchase some stuff. Um, that's been Rosenberg Raw talking with me, Phoenix Fire. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel. Um, give this podcast a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram as well. It's your girl, Phoenix Fire. I'm out.